I am asleep when it first appears. I sleep too much these days. Look! A shooting star! No, dear, it's too close. Probably a satellite falling back to Earth. For some, sleep is a resting from the day's endeavors. For me, it's an escape from reality. But from this reality, I shall find no escape. Do you see it? Of course. I've been tracking it for hours. Good. So you know what it is? No. Only what it isn't. It isn't a meteor. Then it must be some space station hardware falling back to orbit. Impossible. The trajectory is all wrong. Look at this. It's a spaceship, but the size of it... It must have been built for a race of giants. And it's heading straight for Earth. In... Impossible. Within seconds, the news is out. A gigantic alien spacecraft is about to land among us. At first, the report is greeted with disbelief. But it soon turns to shock, fear, and mounting terror. And still, I sleep. Senses numbed by horror films and science fiction tales, mankind expects the worst. Overnight, the thin veneer of civilization is stripped away to be replaced by brutal, mindless anarchy. The sound of riots and mayhem disturb my slumber. Slowly, I awake. I look around. The city is a shambles. I feel no surprise. I have seen too much of man's insanity. I have little compassion for them. All their wounds are self-inflicted. The stench and squalor no longer touch me. In my mind, I can always escape. Memories of the past are now my shelter. For the body may wither, but love is eternal. Move it, creep. Hey, scuzzbag, we're talking to you. What's this thing he's got wrapped up? Looks like we caught us a looter. Must be something he stole. Okay, punk, on your feet. We're taking you in. Too heavy for any ironing board. I'll open it up and see what it is. Hey! It's mine. My arm. His grip was like... Resisting arrest, huh? Okay, mister. You just bought it. I don't want to hurt them. But if I must... Oh, sweet mother of mercy. From high above, a mighty roar, a blinding light. I am forgotten. All is forgotten. Human flesh is stunned into immobility. I vanish into the night. The great ship descends. Earth will never be the same again. Incredulous and uncomprehending, the crew of a traffic helicopter is closest to the hovering behemoth that seems to blot out the sky above. What is it? I don't know. We ain't staying around to find out. Never before have human eyes beheld such a sight. The only thought in every mind is to run, flee, seek shelter. Anything to escape the numbing, nightmarish apparition which slowly descends lower. 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 The sound is deafening! We're doomed! Doomed! It's bigger than a mountain! Someone, something, is coming out!
every battle zone throughout the world. Fighting has ceased. There have been no new acts of terrorism. No one dares incur the displeasure of Galactus, for no one knows the extent of his power. Almost overnight, a new religion has sprung up around the awesome being, making him an object of worship. This is the chance I have been waiting for. I can't let those other charlatans get the jump on me. Galactus can make me the greatest evangelist of all. He frightens me, Colton. He seems so cold, so merciless. He displays not a single shred of emotion. You know nothing of such things, Alina. My TV ministry once reached millions around the globe, but the public is fickle. I've been losing converts. Galactus will change all of that. How, Colton? Why do you speak in riddles? You are my brother, and I love you, but I have never understood you. Wait till my next telecast. I walk among them, but always apart. I have given them up for lost a long time ago. It's Colton Candwell on TV. Galactus has come in answer to my prayer. It is I who summoned him. Praise the Lord. Some dare to question. Their bodies are battered. Their voices still. Why should we believe blindly? What if he's- Kill the lousy anti-god. Galactus will save us. We are his children. He will lead us to Nirvana. I say unto you, he is the way and the wonder. He do his prophet. I sing his true glory. I am come to set you free. Free from guilt. Free from worthless man-made laws. If you would be saved, do what you will. Take what you will. There is no wrong. There is no sin. Pleasure is all. So speak Galactus. And so... The madness begins. Freed of all inhibitions by the pronouncement of the god figure, I see sanity giving place to savagery. Looting, pillaging, and plunder are the order of the day. It is the age of Galactus. Voices of reason are shouted down by the deafening roar of violence until martial law brings an uneasy halt to the carnage. A fearsome quiet falls over the ravaged land. It is good that you have come. The President has called an emergency meeting. The President? He counts for nothing since the coming of all-powerful Galactus. But Reverend Candwell, we must find a way to restore order again. He will do so when Galactus decrees, not before. But- Humanity has wanted his coming since the dawn of time. He is the power. It is not for man to question his word or his will. He is law absolute. And I am his prophet. You lie! False prophet! You bring shame to your calling! Who is that ranting derelict? How did he get here? The building has been totally secured! No matter. Guard, silence the heretic. No, Colton. There's... there's been enough killing. He's only one man. One voice. He cannot harm you. Suit yourself, Alina. He is beneath my notice. I have a new world to create. You are merciful. I thought that quality had vanished on Earth. Who are you? Why do you oppose my brother? Your brother is driven by a lust for power. In the name of religion, he will subvert mankind. How can you be sure of this? How can you not? Does he not espouse the teaching of Galactus, thus making a mockery of all that man has achieved? But Galactus is a god. Surely we must obey. Obey! Obey! When children destroy their schools. Obey precepts that turn brother against brother. That imprison the poor and the helpless. I... have had those same thoughts. 
But I felt guilty because I lacked faith. Faith without judgment merely degrades the spirit divine. I sought to forsake the human race, to leave this pathetic world to its own mad devices. But perhaps I am maddest of all, for I cannot turn away. What insane conceit possesses you to think you can defy Galactus? You think you can make a difference? Yes, for in truth, any man can make a difference. It is not given to us to know whether we shall succeed or not. In failure, there is no disgrace. There can be but one ultimate shame. The cowardice of not having tried. Who? What are you? I am called the Silver Surfer. When I was young, I heard of you. But... I thought you were just a legend. Who can know where reality ends and legend begins? Do we not see with our hearts and our minds, as well as our eyes? You're not of Earth. There is such a purity about you. Purity dwells in the soul, not the birthplace. Your soul is rich in warmth and kindness, Elina. It is for such as you that the surfer shall again soar. Don't go. Galactus is too powerful. Men, worship him. No one will help you. You'll be alone. You'll be destroyed. If we turn from battle because there is little hope of victory, where then would valor be? Let it ever be the goal that stirs us, not the odds. Galactus and I have fought before. Perhaps it is our destiny to engage in a conflict without end. His is the greatest power by far, but he fights for himself alone. I seek to save a world. A world that has turned against me. Galactus! I am here! I knew you would come. Why have you broken your solemn pledge? You vowed never to attack planet Earth! No pledge has been broken. No attack made. I have come in peace. But the damage you have done! I merely allow the unsuspecting humans to destroy themselves. In my name. Look up above. Something flying near the old powerful one. A white figure on a flying board. I've seen pictures of him. It's the Silver Surfer. Never before has mighty Galactus stooped to such deceit. Never before has the great hunger so consumed me. And so you play God. Having pledged not to slay Earth by force, you will do so by guile. I cannot allow it. You cannot prevent it. Incredible. Him and the board seem to be one. As you were once my herald, I wish you no harm. Take flight while you can. Galactus, I know you are beyond good or evil, but you swore never to harm planet Earth. I have harmed no one. I never pledged to stop them from harming themselves. If only they could hear him. But his words were for me alone. My only recourse is to reason with them, to make them understand. Galactus is mighty, his power awesome. But only the coward or sycophant worships power and might. What has divinity to do with the show of strength? or abandonment of reason? Where is the holiness in brutality and greed? Flawed as man may be, he has ever aspired to nobility. Despite war and crime, poverty and pestilence, the human spirit still burns bright. You must not let Galactus quench that flame. He's trying to turn us against Galactus. Kill the dirty, rotten anti-god. 
I speak the truth. Get lost, sicko. Go back to where you came from. Somebody shut up that lion white skin freak. Just wait, Baldy. Galactus will crush you like a flea. Why wait? Let's lean on him ourselves. You must listen while there is still time. How does a fink like that get on TV? I don't know, but I'd like to get my hands on him. Somebody's gotta stop his lousy, godless mouth. This ain't murder. It's like squishing a dirty, rotten roach. So, once again, they respond with mindless violence. That's it, man. Waste that sucker. The force field of my power cosmic will protect me. But how to protect them from their own insanity? Will there never be an end to their insane fanaticism? Why do they turn to violence in the name of the one they worship? Have they so soon forgotten that the greatest power is love? They think me defenseless because I do not strike back. But I dare not unleash my power cosmic against them. They are not evil, merely unthinking. And truly, they know not what they do. Enough. Let the firing cease. Galactus needs no mortal weaponry to strike on his behalf. My former herald has challenged me for the final time. I feel no anger. Not for me is the tyranny of base emotion, but the great hunger gnaws, and I must feed. Thus, without rancor or wrath, I say to you, Galactus must survive. If you must die that I may live, then die you shall. He cannot match my speed, but he cares little for the havoc he wreaks while striking out at me. The destruction beggars description. Even those who fought for Galactus can find no safety as they flee in terror. But some there are who cannot flee. And there are some with the speed and the power cosmic. But why? Just minutes ago, I tried to kill you. You struck in the name of your god. See now what such blind devotion has wrought. You can't go back there. You've got no chance against Galactus. There is always a chance while life endures. Colton? Holt, you must come no further. The reverend prophet of Galactus is in meditation. He seeks silent spiritual guidance, a oneness with the master. Who has dared disturb the ritual? Who has shattered the sacred karma? Let the interloper step forward. I'm sorry, Colton. I had to speak to you. You are my sister. Therefore, in the name of Galactus, I forgive you. But have a care, Elena. Do not seek to take advantage of our relationship. I've come to caution you, Colton. To sound a warning. Perhaps there is a folly in following Galactus so blindly. Perhaps he is not. Be silent, Elena. You of all people must not utter words of heresy. Heresy? Is it heresy to think? To question? Why did the Supreme Being give us minds if not to use them? Are we just sheep to blindly follow the mad dictates of a stranger? As the Silver Surfer said... Enough! But the Surfer is wise! You must open your mind! Listen to reason! I'll hear no more. Your words give offense to my ears and my heart. My own sister has been devil-tainted. Remove her from my sight. No! I dare not weaken or let others lose faith. Galactus is a stepping stone in my quest for power. What does his divinity or lack of it matter? Truth is but an abstraction. Power is all. Only those who believe blindly can be controlled like puppets. Only those who close their God-given mind can be enslaved by such as I. The Silver Surfer must be silenced lest he wake the masses. Believe ye in Galactus, for he is the power, the power that shall be mine. Never before has a battle so been televised, so witnessed by the entire world. Death 
comes to all, I fear it not. And never before has my cause been so just, albeit misunderstood. What madness possesses you to fight for those who revile and reject you? If it be mad to stand for the weak and the misguided, then such is my choice, rather than cold and soulless sanity. Each time I evade his blast, another building crumbles. Only by fleeing can I gain time. Time to devise a way to conquer the unconquerable. I hurl a final cry of defiance. And I am gone. The Silver Surfer has fled. The world wonders, has he escaped the awesome vengeance of the deity from space? There can be no hiding place from Galactus. I have but to will it, and my star-spreading cosmos craft will find the starboard fugitive. For I am power, and power is all. Sing ye the praises of Lord Galactus. Glory be to him who walketh amongst us. He is the word and the will and the way. For he hath broken the bondage of man-made law. Here Galactus hath set us free. My soaring board obeys me no longer. I am caught in the beam of Galactus's ship. Our camera crews have sighted the Silver Surfer heading this way. Galactus was right. None can escape him. Emma, shut him up. You must be quiet, dear, or they'll accuse us of heresy. I don't care what anyone says. I hate Galactus. Please don't let him hurt the surfer. The Prophet Candwell has decreed excommunication for anyone who questions the word of Galactus. How can you follow my brother so blindly? Can't you see the harm that- Don't say it. Hearing such blasphemy could cost me my life. Is it heresy to think? To question. Miss Colden, where's your brother? The Reverend Prophet may not be disturbed. Don't give me that bull, mister. I am here on official business. And that Galactus of yours has caused millions of dollars of damage to my city. To say nothing of the countless lives his carnage has cost. If your phony prophet has a pipeline to that overgrown freak, I want to see him. And I mean now. You dare malign the mighty star god and his chosen prophet? You think a petty politician like yourself has power? I'll show you what power is. In the name of Galactus, death to the anti-gods. You're insane. Is this what you call religion? What sort of religion preaches hatred and violence? You're madder than he is to reason with a fanatic. Look, our helicopter. The Prophet's sister has taken their ship. We'll pay with our lives as she gets away. Shoot her down. <gasps> you hit her. He struck a vital spot. <laughs> I'm losing too much blood. But I must reach Galactus. This must stop the horror. Cannot die in vain. The power beam still draws me back. I cannot resist it. Never have I meant you harm, yet you have ever defied me. Pledge to challenge me no longer, and I'll grant you your life. A pledge for a pledge, Galactus. Leave planet Earth. Vow never to return. Else I fight till I die. Then die, you shall. He's toppling those skyscrapers like toys. It's the surfer he's after. But the sky rider's too fast for him. His speed can't save him for long. Galactus is too powerful. I could forgive your challenge, but not your insolence. You dare speak of insolence! You who would shatter a world! Consequences are for lesser beings. I am Galactus. That is sanction enough. You who are beyond artifice, beyond deceit, why do you let them think you a god? Is God not power? Is God not might? Never have I seen a deity. How then shall I know I am not divine? Surely true divinity is love, and grace, and knowledge supreme. 
Yet with all your power, you know not the why nor the wherefore of life. Enough. I weary of such platitudes. It is time to end this bleak charade. But hold. What flying vessel dares approach? Galactus. I've reached him at last. Stop! Everything... Growing dark... But... Can't... Close... My eyes... Can't fail now... Reverend Prophet, I bring news of your sister. Not now. Not during my hour of sacred meditation. But your benevolence, it is most urgent. What can be more urgent than my holy attempt to establish divine telepathic communication with our Lord Galactus? I beg your forgiveness, revered one. I did not know. As prophet of the Lord, I must learn to bear such burdens. Speak your peace. Your sister has escaped. Perhaps it is just as well. Do not pursue her. She cannot do us harm. But she has taken an aircraft. She heads for Galactus. Is she blind to the danger? They await you in the command room. She was heard to mutter something about stopping the battle and saving the Silver Surfer. Again the Surfer. Is he always to plague me? We have a visual radar scope fix on the fugitive craft, Reverend Prophet. Why does the ship wobble so erratically? I hesitated to tell you, Benevolence. Alina was wounded. At that instant. Even as I hurtled toward the fateful scene. Who dares, unknown and unbidden, to approach my presence? Everything's... going dark. I... I'm not afraid of death. But... I mustn't die in vain. The ship's out of control. She's going to crash. As you have taught us, Prophet, it is the will of Galactus. No! He can't let her die. He can't! Hear me, Galactus! Hear the cry of your Prophet! Save her! Only you have the power! A ship. It plummets towards Earth. Galactus does nothing, revered one. But look! The Surfer has spied her. Inside. A girl! Elina! My cosmic blast will free her from the doomed craft. But before I can unleash my power to save the girl. No! I'll be defied no longer. When insurgency threatens, let power prevail. For Galactus is power, and power is all. I could have saved her, but Galactus stopped me. For a split second, I saw Elina's face, illuminated, as if in prayer. A prayer not for herself, but for mankind. Her eyes seemed to say that I was Earth's last hope. They begged me not to fail. Galactus didn't even try to save her. He just let her die. Unfathomable are the ways of divinity, Reverend Prophet. Did Elena not sin in defying the will of Galactus? Sin? My sister was as free of sin as the very air we breathe. It is Galactus who sinned, and I who sinned. I who dared to deify a devil. Throughout the world, the viewers have witnessed televised evidence of the Space God's brutality and destructiveness. People everywhere are starting to question, to wonder. Bulletin, we have just learned that the Prophet Candwell has publicly renounced Galactus. Police have just found the bullet-ridden bodies of Mayor Forger and his aide. It is believed they were killed by followers of Galactus. How could anyone do such a thing? Those fanatics think they can justify anything in the name of religion. If Galactus is a god, I'm turning atheist. He's so vengeful, so deadly. We'll never get out from under his yoke. We're all to blame. We brought it on ourselves. Religion is one thing, murder is another. This is still a nation of law and justice. What can we do, Mr. President? Galactus is too powerful to be apprehended. It would be folly to even think of attacking him. 
It would be cowardice not to try. Summon the Joint Chiefs now! What are we scrambling for? We're gonna waste us a god. They got some sick sense of humor. Though the task seems hopeless, the mission impossible. Not a man flinches, not a man wavers. Oftentimes I suspect that the spark of divinity which all humans seek glows ever unnoticed in their own naked breasts. But it is not divinity I seek at this fateful moment in time. It is justice. And though the quarry is mighty Galactus himself, there are scales to be balanced, a price to be paid. You could have saved her, yet you lifted not a finger. The female is no concern of mine. Too long have you lived among the irrational humans. You begin to think as they do. Though there are countless deaths each day, they mindlessly treat each as if it matters in the cosmic scheme of things. What gives you cause to say it does not? If life is the most precious gift of all, then is not its loss a matter of monumental consequence? Your blind disregard for others' lives fills my heart with burning rage! Why was such awesome power granted to one as merciless as you? By what mad folly, for what dread purpose, was created a Galactus? Have not predators existed since time's first dawning? Did not the same hand fashion the hawk as well as the dove? But enough, I weary of discourse. Words are empty. Action is all. The tableau is ended. The prize is mine. You have chosen your fate, my hero that was. I meant you no harm, for Galactus bears malice to none. I know not why you chose to defy me. Or why you risk death so that others may live. But if such is your choice, so be it. The surfer shall soar no more. His voice is quiet, devoid of emotion, cold as an earthly tomb. I resign myself to my fate. And then I hear them. The sound of jet engines, gunfire, missiles screaming through the night. I tremble for them. Galactus can decimate the mightiest force on Earth with little more than a shrug. But he does nothing. Silent he stands, made invulnerable by a power beyond the ken of mortal comprehension. When finally he speaks, his words are for me alone. His great voice, little more than a pale whisper. They deify me no longer. You have turned them against their God. I plan to free them of their inhibitions. To remove all moral restraints. It was but a matter of time before they destroyed themselves. But they worship me no more. Thus the plan has failed. I grant you your freedom, Skyrider. Your death will avail me not. Wait! Remember your promise. You have vowed not to harm them, to take no reprisals. Galactus needs none to remind him of a pledge once given. Still gnaws. But time is endless, and the future mine. I shall yet return and taste the triumph. For man's racial memory is so woefully short. Galactus is gone. 
throughout the planet, everything seems to pause. As if the world is breathing a silent, global sigh of relief. And then I am summoned to a plenipotentiary session of the United Nations. As Secretary General, I speak on behalf of the sovereign states of this great world body. We are here to redress a monumental wrong. We were visited by two beings from outer space. One we mistakenly treated as a god. The other, to our everlasting shame, we scorned and vilified. But we have seen the light. It is he who calls himself the Silver Surfer, who is the true savior from the stars. No, you are wrong. You must place no man above another. The spark of divinity is in all. Or else in none. How humbly he speaks. He is the essence of true holiness. If not a god, he is surely a saint. You must lead us. Guide us. We shall be your disciples. It is madness. They thirst for leadership as a child thirsts for mother's milk. Surely this is why they so often fall prey to tyrants and despots. Why cannot they realize that the truest faith is faith in oneself? What has made them so desperate to have others show them the way? (sighs) There is only one way to teach them. Though, it will mean becoming an outcast again. And yet, it is a small enough price to pay. Very well. I accept the homage that you offer. I shall advise you and guide you, and yea, even lead you to the path of glory. But first, you shall hear my terms. My every command is to be obeyed without question, my every whim gratified, my every desire fulfilled. One third of each nation's wealth shall be set aside for my personal use. I shall not be subject to any man-made law. All shall rise when I deign to appear. None may speak without my assent. He's changed. He rants like a madman. He is power mad, no different from anyone else. He makes Galactus look like Mother Teresa. He's a lunatic. Get rid of him. You've said enough. I think you'd better leave. Get him out before they riot. Send the creep back from where he came from. Lynch him! String up the white-skinned zombie. Toss him down to us. We'll take care of him. No, don't listen to him. He doesn't mean what he says. Don't you see? He is doing this for us. For our own good. To show us. Dirty, lousy alien. Gandalf's cry will be lost in the din. No mob has ever heeded a lone voice of reason. But I had best leave before violence sets in. To me, my board. Don't do it, Surfer. Stay with us. We need you more than ever. Mankind is mad. You're our last hope. It's too late. He's going. Why? What did you do? You could have had it all. You could have been a god. A god. You threw it all away just for us. And the tragedy of it is, we don't deserve it. I ride my board. It matters not how far. It matters not how fast. I have no destination. I go where the winds of chance may carry me. I have known the heady exaltation of victory. I have known the gnawing pain of defeat. But I shall never cease searching for an oasis of sanity in this desert of madness that men call Earth. For the worst fate of all, Amidst countless worlds and endless stars is to be forever alone. 